Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be talking about is the U.S. Survival Rifle made by Henry. Now this is actually based on the original survival rifle that was developed by Armor Light. They're the same people who designed the AR-15, um, actually the M-16 and all of those. It's Armor Light Rifle Company. Um, so... The original design of this was called the AR-7. It was the seventh model. It was a survival rifle, originally intended for backpackers and like hikers and campers and stuff like that. And well, in the it was developed in 1958 as a complete kit. This is how it would come, except for obviously a lot older. This is the newer Henry version. Uh, it went out of production in the 90s to early 2000s, and then Henry eventually brought it back as their U.S. survival rifle. Um, it was used by the Israeli Air Force as a survival weapon. If they were to get shot down, they carried it on their plane, and they would have it to kill small game, and I guess you could potentially take out an enemy, even though it was only chambered in 22 long rifle. Um, it's semi-automatic. Takedown survival rifle. Now, like I said, uh, I think it was. It comes with. So on this one, it is all stored. The whole rifle is stored in your butt stock. Now, as you can see, I have two magazines here and here. This is your barrel, this is your receiver. You can actually carry three eight round magazines. So this is an eight round magazine, this is an eight round magazine. You could actually put one inside of your receiver and then put your receiver back into the rifle or back into the buttstock and it'll keep this magazine in it while it's stored so that you can actually carry three eight round magazines. It's really simple to put together. You just take everything out, which is the other thing I want to show you guys. So I absolutely love this rifle. Um, it floats, so if, as long as everything's in here, this will float. Now they did not leave any space for anything. So you're like, well, you know, I want to carry some extra ammo or something like that. You're not, you're not doing it. There's just no way, unless you want to attempt to cut some of this out. And like I said, you can have three eight round magazines stored in the gun and, you know, carry extra ammo on you. I actually use an old like pill bottle, like a prescription pill bottle. I put a little bit of cotton down in the bottom, stack my ammo in it, put some cotton at the top, carry that in my pack in a Ziploc bag to keep it as dry as possible is my extra ammo because this is in my pack too. So that's how I carry my extra ammunition. I do need to actually order another magazine so I have three because I only have two. But just to show you that it works, I'm gonna unload one of these eight round mags. Now, a little slow to unload. Ow. It is a sharp. Well, shit. It is too much, apparently. Uh, but yeah, so I've shot it a good little bit, and it's actually extremely accurate. It seems to be more accurate with the CCI ammunition, and that could just be the ammunition. I was using some other cheaper ammo. But now I got the mag completely unloaded. You put the magazine in it. Drop the magazine back into the gun, and you can put your buttstock back together. It goes this way. She's all sealed up. So you can definitely store it with the magazine in the receiver, and so you can carry up to three mags. The same way you open it, you got these little grooves right here. You just pop it up with your thumbs. So now we're going to talk about something that's on the receiver that for some reason a lot of people that I've seen actually don't know exist. So on this receiver, take the magazine out. On the receiver back here, 
up. If I get the camera to focus, you see this screw? Well, there's a hole. Well, there is a, come on camera, little, you have a big hole and a little hole. And what that is, is you can unscrew this and take and flip your side over to the big hole or to the small hole, depending on how tight you want your shot. I prefer the little hole, and when I bought it, it was on the big hole. I took the screw out, flipped it over, and put it back in there. But it seems that a lot of people don't know that you can actually swap that around. So that's something good to know. And now, when assembling this, which I need to oil that bag. Ugh. I wish I should have made the should not have blued any of this gun really. Mag looks like it's trying to rust a little. So to assemble it. You want to put it on a firm surface, insert your receiver into it. Now, this is the most important part. Hold solid pressure down while you turn this so that you do not cross thread this bolt. Um, I've seen, apparently people have figured out some way to cross thread it. Now you do want to get this tight. You know, you'll take, but this is plastic. So you can't turn, you can't just wrench down on it. I think it's plastic. Feels like plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. Like that, okay? So it's still, it's always gonna have some movement. It's not gonna be the most accurate rifle in the world, but it is fairly accurate. You can kill squirrels and stuff like that with it. Um, I have seen people talk about wondering if you could fire it without the um, barrel on it and you can't it well, I couldn't get it to hold around you'd rack it and it wouldn't hold around I tried your bolt just pulls in and out you drag it and that's all there's to it so put your little mag in there make sure she's all tight it does not lock open and then it just has a basic safety so so now it has got a completely plastic coated barrel and it is actually a state it is actually a blue barrel or stainless barrel it's a stainless barrel i'm sorry the inner part is stainless, at least up around the tip. Um, coated receiver, so that's not going to rust. The only thing that seems like it's going to rust is your magazine, which I think is a design flaw. So the other thing it has on it is a Picatinny rail up here at the top for, I guess, if you wanted to add an optic to it. Now the thing about adding an optic to it is, is that you can't store the receiver with the optic on it. So you would always have to recite your optic. And when you can only carry, uh, what is it? 8, 12, 24? No, 8, 12, 20. I'm sorry, 8, 16, 24. Whew, Lord, why can I not do math today? So you could you can only carry 24 rounds in your buttstock. Do you really want to say use any of those to waste time trying to sight this thing in again? I have found that it takes it. I mean, it takes some practice. Use one type of ammunition, practice with it, and you can get to where you can hit just about anything you want with it. I don't know why they put this rail on here. I don't know if it was for looks or I mean, you can put a little red dot or scope on there if you wanted to. You just have to take it off. Or leave the rifle assembled, which kind of defeats the purpose of um, it going in a backpack or whatever. Um, they do say it will float like this. I looked it up. It should float, you know, bob. Because if it'll float with it in here, it'll float with it. It should. Common sense, right? So far, though, shooting it. Um, I shoot mostly Winchester ammunition, like I said. It does shoot a little better with the CCIs, but I found some hollow points, hollow point Winchesters that I really like. And they're my preferred round, so they're what I've been shooting. In it, eight rounds, operates, runs great. I haven't had any issues out of it. It has not jammed. 
The only thing I have is a little bit of marring on this screw from where I took the screw out and swapped it over uh, for the other one. And also, so with that screw, if you get comfortable and everything, you can take that screw and loosen it and you can move that sight up and down just a little bit so that you yourself can make your own rifle just a little bit more accurate. So you get it more comfortable so you're not trying to find it through the hole. Like I said, I run the small hole. It's more I, I find it to be more accurate, more comfortable for me to shoot, especially when you're talking about trying to take game. The little one is really where you want to be. So the uh, other thing about this rifle that I've so far really, really like is it's very light. Man, it just runs smooth. I mean, it's a Henry. It runs great. Based off of that Armor Light 7, it's a great gun. I haven't actually killed anything with it yet. I've been doing more practicing with it than anything. Uh, I can hit a snuff can dead center about every time with it. So, there's that. I just... The other thing that concerns me about this is instead of putting a... Um, metal front post sight, they put a plastic one. It is bright orange, so you can't see it, but I don't like the fact that it's plastic. I'm gonna actually see if you can order a metal one for it and put it on there, maybe. I don't know. Would like to put a red dot on it and keep it assembled just to play with it, just to see, you know, how fun that is. Like a small red dot, because again, it's not gonna fit in here. And I keep, I keep mine. I don't ever keep mine assembled uh, unless I plan on shooting it and using it for a while. Um, if I go camping and I put it together, I'm going to keep it put together to shoot squirrels and other varmints with. But most of the time when I have it, it is stored inside its butt stock, stuck in the side of my bug out bag. So it would be cool if they made the butt stock somehow where you could put an optic in it. You know, have like a compartment that folded open like on the side right here or something that would hold an optic. Because having an optic on it would be great. Mine is only having 24 rounds. And unless you brought extra ammunition, 24 rounds to carry with you. And I guess you could take it and you could put that optic on there, zero that optic and mark the optic and the gun with a line and then put it on there and see if it held a close enough zero that you could still kill squirrels and rabbits and other varmints with it. Maybe something we try later on down the road, I'll pick up an optic, sight it in, and mark it with a sharpie or something. Something I can take, remove off of this to see if it'll hold it zero close enough to still kill squirrels and rabbits. Because that's what my biggest thing about this was, was when I got it, I was like, because I've been wanting one, I've looked at the Ruger 1022 breakdown rifle, and I've been looking at this, and I got this as a Christmas gift from my father. Because I like all the camping and survival stuff, and I was like, man, I want a 22 that I can break down, put in my pack, carry with me, and I can shoot squirrels, just any kind of small game with it, so I can eat, if need be. So, he came home with this. This is the first one I got. I'm still probably going to get the Ruger 1022 breakdown rifle just because I have a gun addiction and that's all there is to it. The other thing is, is that I wanted, so this I do not intend to have, would not intend to have to shoot at a enemy combatant or anything with this. But I mean, if you do, I, I don't get shot with 22 and if you hit them in the face, it is what it is. But this is, I mean, imagine trying to squirrel hunt with a full-size 9mm. Not saying you can't do it, just saying that this is better. And so, normally when I'm out and about, I have this and an, either a Judge or a full-size 9 or some kind of revolver on me as well. That would be much better for enemy combatants than this, but this would be much better at getting me food. So, that is my overall review on the Henry Rifle. Henry Survival Rifle. I love this gun. I absolutely love this gun. 
I've shot it, like I said, a handful of times. It runs perfectly. I've had no issues with it. It has gone together perfectly every time with no issues. It doesn't, and like I said, you put it together right, you don't need to crank down on it. It doesn't move. I did, like I said, flip my side over. A lot of people don't know that you can do that. You can flip that side over to your preferred sight. But man, I just love, love this little gun. It's so much fun to shoot eight rounds and you'll dump them fast or you can sit there and plink and really it's surprisingly accurate for iron sights, which is just a round peep sight and a big bright orange plastic front post sight, which I wish was metal. That's my, that's my biggest flaw for this gun is that that sight's plastic. But that's going to do it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty, and I'll see you next time.